Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Telltale's Walking Dead, episode uh, season three, episode five. And we're on part four, and last episode was pretty emotional for me. I really get, uh, I don't know, the way that the, these games work, especially when there's a possibility I could have done another path and possibly saved someone that was close to me um it was it was tough it was tough I was really disappointed or really sad about the fact that Gabe had to die I haven't seen anybody else's gameplay and I know gameplay may function might may um may differ based on how you play it so and, and how the people you may watch uh make their choices so it makes it really difficult to um to know whether there was an opportunity to save him or whether he would have died regardless but Gabe is deceased and so is David and um, I did to a certain degree I felt good that I kept my dad's promise his dying wish was for me to um, be good to my brother and it did say that I kept his wish but you know I ended up losing Gabe and David and in, in, in the end so anyway let's hop back into game Okay, three days later. All right. Wow, that's pretty. All this happened in three days. That's pretty. That's pretty nice. All right. So we have. May you rest in peace. We have. Oh, we have like a little memorial wall, of all the the fallen. So I guess we'll put David's picture right here. I'm assuming. Place photo. Yep. Oh. Wow. I see Trip right there too. It looks like that's Trip up there in the blue shirt. That's so sad. Oh, and there's Mariana and Gabe in the car. I'm glad you helped me, Javi. But I can't stop wondering how things might be different if you hadn't. Maybe Gabe wouldn't be with oh, Mariana. You're not right gonna now. blame me for that, cause ain't no way Gabe we would know. A better hobby. There's no way we would have known. us. Gabe, Mariana. They were my responsibility. They're dead because of me. I mean, I hate to say it like that. We're all to blame, not just you. Oh, they put uh, his picture up there too. David's picture. Golly, that was tough. That was a tough one. So, is Richmond everything you thought it would be? Not yet. I'm staying here until it is, though. It's not safe out there. Or in here. I'm pretty sure I can fix one of those. Yeah. I I'm not saying I want it to be this way forever, but... I want you to keep your distance. Okay. I was trying to anyway. Not forever, but for a little Those while. Really, sure. really? Can we not be friends? Not yet, Javi. Wow. I need you to understand wow. that. We can work together to stay safe, but that's it. For I now. always wanted to just be your friend, though, Kate. Like, you know. I don't hate you, but I hate knowing what our future could have been. I don't even know what she expects from me, but all right, let's check out Richmond and see how it looks now. God, I don't know what she expects from me. Like she could blame me, but at the end of the day, we all had a hand in that. Mariana's death cannot be on him. She just was standing up and got shot. Like that's nobody's fault. Um, oh, wow. We've done a lot in three days. We've done a lot in three days. <laughs> Kids are playing, so that's nice. At least she's smiling, even if we're going separate ways, but that's fine. Where's Clem? Heading out? Yes, indeed. We came here to put an end to the raiding. Looks like that's been done. Glad we got it settled. Gotta move on. We could use you around here. Please stay. We got other people depending on us, Javi. Okay, I understand Just the way that. it is. I understand I was that. worried about you, Javi. About who you are inside. You helped save these people, though. That goes a long way for me. Second chances are in short supply these days. That's what this place can be if you let okay. it. 
Trust me, though. Life within walls is a hell of a lot different than life on the road. Don't take shortcuts like Joan. You gotta do the Where right thing. Where is Joan, by the way? Always. Good days, and especially bad. Absolutely. The right thing. No yeah, matter we're what. we're not gonna steal from other people and Good stuff. Good to hear. I read people pretty well. Little gift of mine. You're a capable guy, Javi. Change is in the air here. Okay, well, good. You can lead that change, and I think you should. For the better. God knows this town could use step it. Up. You know what? I'm gonna step up. Lead this yeah, place in the right direction. It. Then as far as I'm concerned, Richmond's in much better hands than yep. it was. Perfect. Well, then the walkers, yeah. But then Joan as well. Be vigilant. Trouble never stays too far away. Look at the swings and stuff. Yeah, I don't mind leading this place. Totally. So you're out of here too, huh? She gotta go get AJ. Yeah. It's time. I have to find AJ, Javi. I understand. I've waited so long. And then come back though, Clem. But could you do me one last favor before I leave? Can you just come back with, though, Clem? Like, please? I would like for you to come back. Like, I feel like it's about to end. I'm not ready for it to end. But I feel like we're getting close to the end. What are we doing? What does she want me to do? I used to do oh. this for my niece. <laughs> That's nice of you. She thought I was terrible at it. Were you? None of your business. She wants me to cut her hair. How short of... Oh! I look. have to see AJ, Javi. I have to see that he's okay. I understand. Do you think he remembers me? At least a little? Uh, who could forget you? <laughs> who could forget you, Clem? No one who knew you, oh. I guarantee it. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Everyone told us he was better off. After everything that's happened, I'm starting to think they're right. No. You were the best for him, Cliff. I don't know if I was a good mom or not. I can't stop thinking about it. I was gonna say, of course you were. Did you love him? With all of my heart. And of course you were. And you saved him. You saved him. She's so young to be worried about being a mom, though. It's kind of sad. Gabe told me you used to play baseball. I did. I loved it. He told me you fucked it all up, too. Yep. Oh, sure goodness. did. <laughs> well, you survived. I had to. Yeah. But you loved it. How do you survive that? How? Just keep trying. Loss gives you strength. If you really loved That's it. That's true. How? That's what's good about a broken heart. When you're looking strong. at it all broken and shattered on the floor, you figure out the pieces you need versus the ones you liked. If you're ready to move on, that is. If. All done. Okay, let me check you out, Clem. Well. How's it look? Uh oh. Wait, that's not how it was earlier. You know what? I'll grab your hat. Oh, goodness. You messed up her hair. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this team. Your dad ever teach you about baseball? No, not really. That's not how it looked while I was cutting no, it. You come back, and I'll tell you all about it. I know he's bad at it. It's a deal. I don't like her hair now. It's still very long in the back. I thought it was shorter than that when he cut if it. If I bring AJ back with me, will you teach I him will, too? I will, Clem. Bring him back. Yes, bring him back. You bet. He belongs with you, Clementine. Just bring him back. He does belong with her. Bring him bring back. Bring him back, yes. Bring you back, both of you guys. Him and you. Bring both of y'all back. All right, Clem. Are we going to play as Clem? I would love to end this episode with Clem playing as her and then us going to get AJ I would love that and the sad thing is we've been wanting AJ like this entire game we're on like the last part and we finally get to see AJ hopefully cross fingers um, if we don't see AJ this time I'll be very upset though oh she looks so grown <laughs> she looks so grown with her little hairstyle with her little side bang it does, you did a horrible job though Javi oh bye Clem Come back, please. 
Why would she go by herself? We couldn't bring nobody with her? I guess if Gabe was alive, he could go with her. Oh, gosh. You know, I'm going to have to research whether I could have saved Gabe. I'm going to have to research it. Oh, <gasps> it's over? So it's a cliffhanger. Exactly what I said I didn't want it to be. Wow. So we don't even know if she got eight. We played this entire game hoping that she was going to get to AJ. And you're telling me she didn't get to AJ. Is that what you're telling me? We don't even know if AJ's alive. That's sad. My daughter's not happy right now. And she was just suggesting that maybe if I would have told Gabe not to go with his dad, maybe he wouldn't have went. But I was trying to let David be a dad to him, which is what David said. He made it seem like he 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 made a good argument, like he was going to try to do his best and that he failed and he wanted to make things right and everything. So I don't. I don't understand. But anyway, your experience with David, with David was heartfelt. You accepted David's hand after he punched you on the night your father died. You supported David's plan to meet at his house in Richmond. And in this time of need, you distanced yourself from David. Wow. So they're saying that my experience with him was heartfelt. That's interesting. And that's true. I think I forgot about that. The first episode when they were arguing and he went to punch him, I didn't. Yeah, I, I, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't fight back. I remember that. And then I remember, too, with his plan. He said, come to the house. And I said, okay. And I went to the house. So I, I, I guess I was heartfelt with him. And honestly, that is kind of how I am in real life. <laughs> I tried to extend that to people. But anyway, all right, let's go to the next one. Um, your experience with Kate was distant. All right, that's, that's probably fair. You were relieved to see Kate alive in the junkyard. You rejected Kate's plan to leave Richmond. Uh, why they got us kissing over there? We never kissed. I remember us ever kissing. Anything is once and for all. You rejected Kate, and you asked Kate if she, if you could try to be friends, but she wasn't ready yet, because she wants something more. But I, you know, my my experience with Kate had to be distant, because I said from day one, and this is just me, and that's my opinion, and how I play, how I am in real life. That is my brother's wife. I would never overstep that boundary. I would respect that. I didn't kiss her though. I don't know where that picture came from. I didn't kiss her. I don't remember ever kissing her. If I did, I guess, I guess, I don't know. But either way, that's, that's that whole situation right there. I was distant with her though. I know I tried to keep it strictly like, Hey, we're just traveling together and you're my sister-in-law and that's it. So interesting. They said that. So your experience with Gabe was protective and it was, you made Gabe happy by agreeing to stay in the trailer for the night. You hid the truth about Gabe's neighborhood friend. That's true. I forgot about the one that had turned. You helped Kate save Richmond before going after Gabe. So why would that make me protective? Because I was protecting him by staying away? Because I would think if I went with him, that'd make me protective. I don't know why. You had you gave bit, a bit and gave your gun so he could prevent himself from turning. I mean, I guess more protective would have been if I shot him for himself so he wouldn't have to do it himself. But I can understand why they would feel like I was. Because I was trying to be protective of him, especially after Mariana died. He was my responsibility. All right, so the next stat is the your new frontier story. You reassured Trip by promising you wouldn't cause trouble in Prescott. Then you went behind Trip's back to get the junkyard. Oh, that's true. And the end, Trip saved your life on the overpass despite you not choosing to be to choosing him to be saved. And you took Eleanor up to her up on her offer to sneak away. Oh, I forgot about that. Sneak away on horses to the junkyard. Then Eleanor leaked your plan to incite resistance against Joan. Against Joan. Ultimately, you did not forgive Eleanor for her betrayal. So I guess they're saying my frontier story was aligned with Eleanor's. Golly, this makes me feel like I should play it again and see if if Trip would have been a different a different journey, a different path. Because I didn't choose Trip. I didn't choose Trip's story. I, I went with Eleanor. Uh, then your new frontier story. Oh, so Ava and Lingar. Basically, I lost them too. Okay, so Clementine Clementine took Ava up on her offer to meet and join the new frontier. Then Ava helped you get into the armory because you showed solidarity with David. And finally, you picked Ava to live, but Joan shot her to teach you a lesson. And then Lingar. Clementine ignored Lingar's medical advice regarding AJ. Then you gave Le Lingar a lethal injection, which I did. And Lingar told you AJ's location shortly before dying. All righty, that's true. You co uh, then Conrad, you coached. Uh oh, no, go back. Oh, darn it. I clicked the wrong thing. Um, okay, let's go back. I messed up. I clicked the wrong thing. 
Uh, so we are on this one. You coached Francine through Conrad's poker game. And then when Gabe threatened Conrad, you convinced your nephew to lower his gun. And later Conrad sacrificed himself. Yeah. Which is crazy because I thought we had saved him. Like a lot of people, he, they lost Conrad. And they were like, how did you keep Conrad? And then I ended up losing him anyway. Uh, with Jesus, I guess I could have had an opportunity to lose him. Uh, when you met him, you trusted Jesus and didn't bind his hands. Then you promised Jesus to always do the right thing and survive and helping Richmond survive. And lastly, you promised Jesus you would help relieve Richmond. Okay, cool. And then Joan. Oh, good point. We don't know where Joan is. You tell, wow, we don't know where Joan is. So I could already see what the storyline for the next one's going to be. You told Joan the new frontier was to blame for Mariana's death, which it was. And then your plan to expose Joan failed, which we saw. And then currently Joan's whereabouts are unknown. And I, I, I just asked about where she was. Clint kicked you out of Richmond for murdering Rufus. Then you took Clint's deal and spared Joan's life. Finally, David took, shot Clint on stage after you agreed to Clint's deal. Um, refresh. Because we don't know where she's at. So I think that was it. Wow. Oh, okay. So we get to see AJ. We get to see. We get to see. No, that's Clementine. We get to see. I'm excited they're going to show us. Get her. Get get him, I mean. She looks like so she looks so grown. Look at her. Doesn't she look grown? She's so bad. Go go you go. Look at her. I remember when Clementine was little little little. I remember her treehouse and stuff. I remember when Clementine was... Oh, Clementine's story will continue! <laughs> yes! But you know what? Oh, the complete season of Batman. We were just talking about Batman. Yeah, I already have the complete season of Batman. But thank you for thank you for reminding me. Uh, we're going to say not now. Oh, so that's the end, guys. But Clementine's story will continue, which is what I love, thankfully, because the last two... Well, the first season, the first episode of Walking Dead was about Lee. The second episode, or second season rather, was about Clementine. And this third season was about Javi. And now we're going back to Clementine. So we know Clementine has not died. She's going to go get AJ. And I think that's awesome. I love how that ended. That was awesome. But I hate that we don't have... Uh, and you know what? Another thing I hate, they showed me like my little, you know choices or whatever my ultimate choices of how I played the game but I would have loved to see the stats of how everybody else played um they didn't really show they didn't really show us the stats um yeah she is at the end she did look like an adult but anyway I would have loved to see what the status the I guess we could do more options what the status was, I don't want to restart it though. I would have loved to see what the percentage and everything, like how they normally do with the other episodes. They'll show you um, what everybody chose. So it didn't, it didn't show us that. But anyway, that's it for this series of Walking Dead Telltale Season 3. It's a wrap. It's done. Of course, when the next season comes out, you guys know I'm going to be all on it. I'm going to play it. So if you guys are interested in seeing more videos like this, I also have some more games as far as Xbox goes. I need to get back on Final Fantasy, which hopefully I'll be doing that in the near future, like within a week or so. And then uh, also I have, uh, what's the name of that game? Um, the one with the girl that can rewind time. I'm asking my daughter because she wanted me to play it. Um, Life, is strange. Life is Strange. Thank you, Alyssa. <laughs> I also bought Life is Strange, like, I don't even know. That was like... It might have been. It was last year, but I don't know. It, I bought it a long time ago. And my plan was to play it, but I got onto Final Fantasy and I never got a chance to get back around to it. And of course, when Batman comes back out, because they are making another season of Batman, I will be playing that as well. So hopefully you guys, guys enjoy these videos. Let me know what you think down in the comment box. Thumbs it up, please. And let me know what you think about the choices I made. And if you aren't a subscriber already, please do so. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.